hi let's see how we can handle the apogee 3300 pro ultrasonography machine before I start first you can see down the screen siui which stand for shanto institute of ultrasonic instrument this is the whole overview of the machine this one is view panel and this one is control panel or measuring panel this one is probe panel and print panel this one is keyboard panel this one is setting panel here it is written apogee 3300 pro this one is audio panel and start button panel to start or turn on this machine just click on this button this button and wait for some times until the initializing phase completed and your skin is showing the device feature now your device is ready for examination let's get started this is new patient button click new this is mouse or wheel button select yes from the screen this is ok or enter button click enter and start new examination to start a new examination you have to first input the patient id this is patient id button click id this will pop up this type of windows or interface and input the id number patient name gender and the sex male or female with the mouse or wheel button go to patient id and type a id number i type this number and go to save press enter button let's start the examination for the id of this patient this is probe button by pressing this it will pop up different type of examination system abdomen urology gynecology first trimester second plus third trimester that means with this probe button you can jump into different type of examination system let's rotate the wheel or mouse button and jump into the second plus third trimester press enter or ok button this is ok button now we will see how to measure the pregnancy profile parameter in this examination this one is calculation button by this button we can measure different type of obstetrical parameters such as biparietal diameter abdominal circumference femoral length amniotic fluid index gestational sac and others see the parameter biparietal diameter abdominal circumference femoral length and etc suppose i select biparietal diameter just select biparietal diameter and draw one point here and another point here this will pop up the biparietal diameter information on your screen see now i select abdominal circumference click one point here and one point here and rotate the wheel button see just rotate the wheel button this will increase the size of your circle adjusting to the abdominal circumference of your fetus press enter now select femoral length or fl and draw one point here and another point here with this three parameter expected fetal weight will shown on the screen see this one 1930 gram 
click on the 2B or 4B button. This will take you onto the 2 view or 4 view mode. To go to the 2 or 4 view mode, just press the button again and press the update button. Press the BM button. This will take you to the fatal heart rate mode. Again, press the BM mode button. This will show you the fatal heart rate wave. This one is yellow one is freeze button. Freeze. Again, press calculation button and select fatal heart rate. This one is calculation button. Select fatal heart rate. Select one point here and after one wave select one point here and this will show you the fatal heart rate again i am introducing with the freeze button with this button you can freeze and unfreeze the screen just one click freeze and another click unfreeze according to the screen now we are in two view mode select the update button this will confirm your two view mode to jump into the four view mode again click on this 2b or 4b button again see on the screen click update button this will take you into the four view mode this one is measure button this one is t-ball button this one is distance button this one is save button if you want to save a image you have to just press the save button first freeze the screen click save and see on the top right corner of your screen here two image is being saved To print this to saved image, click on this report button. This one is report button. Click report. This will pop up this type of window. Click picture. This will take you to the picture selection mode. Here is your picture in the down line. Just select this one. This will update the picture to the upper and click on this arrow button. This will take the picture into the print mode. Now select another picture and take it. Select this one also. I have taken three pictures. Select print preview. This will pop up this type of window. Click this down arrow button. This will take you to the picture mode, otherwise, your information page will be print. Now, click the print button, select current page. This will load the image. Now, change the printer. My printer is this one. Go to properties. To increase the image quality, select paper type premium glossy. This one premium glossy. Here you can select high also. I select standard. Click OK. Now go to advanced. Click on this box. Now click OK. Now you can print your image into a good quality or a standard quality. I just want to show you this tutorial. So I have to select cancel. Now click exit. Click on this cross icon on the top upper right corner. This one is zoom button. 
with this button you can zoom your image this one is text button this one is clear button this one is anode button with this anode button you can add different type of annotation for your organ on the screen this one is setup button this one disk button and this one is guide button and the last one is archive button to see the previously saved image on your device just click the archive button this will show you all the previously saved image on your device see here it is showing all the previously saved examination image just select any of one i select this one click new exam click yes and then click save here click save now you can again start this examination this one is indicator button with this button you can indicate any type of organ or abnormality of the organ just indicate it and press enter place and press press enter place and press enter this one is b gain this one is c gain this one is d gain and this one is value to turn of the device just click on this power button and wait some time and this will close or turn off your device see it is showing shutting down